Since it's the season of giving, we at LGC would like to <laughs> we at LGC would like to give something back to our audience. <laughs> 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 oh, seriously, give us money. Coming up on Lytics, Gamecast Weekly. The Steam Winter Sale is upon us. Dota 2 comes out of beta. Iculus has a secret and Humble shows some Linux love. Then we throw the chairs. And, ah! For the awesome. All this, plus your hate mail. Let's go. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, yes, whatever the hell else we come up with in this week. Big week. Big show, as they may say. Steam makes with some sales. Dota 2 is a real boy. Ryan sees futzing about with something we don't know, and I'm terribly curious to find out. And we're going to throw the chairs at... Ah! The Suicide Simulator. Uh, Yay. Yes. And that lovely angelic voice joining me every week from the north, from uh, the Canadians. Mr. Sveng. You sound like a bald eagle on heat. And this psychopath that stays up in Portugal at 1, possibly 2 a.m., depending on the time of the year. You yeah, know him with few. his giggling fits and his Portuguese <laughs> rage. Now with lighting. It is Pedro Matias. It's all Mateus. lies, I tell you. Lies. Out of it, just like that one guy from South Park can't say Planet Arium. He can't say Matias. So before we get started, <laughs> we do like to catch up and see what's been going on with each other this week. I think we're going to start with the P-Man. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm actually pretty happy that the fine, sexy folks at Fedora finally well, released you. the 312 kernel because uh, apparently... If Michael Laravel is to be believed, it brings some performance improvements for the R600 branch of the Mesa drivers. Of course, you need Mesa 10 to actually see the performance improvements. So, come on, guys, you can do it. I kind of want Mesa 10. Please! Compile it yourself! <laughs> What do you yeah. Have? Check rawhide. <laughs> the, the problem with that, it's God, uh, it check rawhide. Works. Yeah, man. All right. Has it been another week of working? It's oh, you saw the um Hobbit suit. You saw. Yeah, um, I did, actually. You know, I, what's I, his I, name's I girlfriend was in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> all I could think of during the smog scenes is Benedict. If they ever remade Beast Wars, mm -hmm. Benedict Cumberbatch would make an awesome Megatron. Every single line of his dialogue, I'm expecting him to like brush a rubber ducky and say yes. <laughs> but you know what? It was it was a pretty good movie. Uh, the addition of Legolas in that movie was pretty kind of forced in. Um, though Did oddly it? enough, the elf chick they made specifically for the movie fit the film a lot better than Legolas, who should not have been in there. You can remove all the scenes he was in and lose nothing uh but you know like i said otherwise good movie ends on a cliffhanger so now i gotta wait for part three even though i've read the book and know what happens and yes. over here in vinland we talked about this in the live stream um i actually popped a blood vessel in my eye because i was trying to dry some extremely hot peppers got a bit up my sinus cavities and this is not the type of pepper that you ever want to eat much less <laughs> have as part of your respiratory system <laughs> So, you know, between Sanity almost peppers. vomiting, coughing, and all that, that happened. Would have recorded it, but I really couldn't see straight at the time, and I was just way too amused <laughs> by, like, the pain. I was like, this is good stuff. I was like, but it's going... And I figured, A, if I'm going to be off by this, it's a pretty damn metal way to die. Also, got some me, IPA. Pretty decent. Tastes a bit like um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, but it's almost 8%. But then again, it's almost 8 quid a bottle. Mm. That, that's that's a dollar a percent. Badass beer. <laughs> Pretty much. So what do we got up next, German? We got whoring ourselves out. So let me just... Ooh. Bow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. Take off my shirt, which I'm not going to... Make gonna with it! Gonna... Fine! LinuxGameCast.com slash podcast. We got all sorts of links for you to click. We got 
fancy Facebook like buttons. We got a handy e stocking guide. We got RSS feeds for SD video, HD video, and SD audio. Amazon affiliate links for you to click on and give us some of that microtransacted goodness. Or if you don't feel like buying anything, you know what? Give the gift of us this holiday and click on those donate buttons. Give us a one time donation of whatever. Yeah, I do need a aluminum pole in the room so I can begin the airing of the grievances. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we have a we have a donato board there. If you give us money, we'll put you up on there with maybe a link to your web zone. Three fifty a month gets your name up there as well, and ten bucks a month gets you access to our show notes. See the sausage before it gets made. We also have our forum Shet Realm statically linked, where we will outright ban your ass if you bring up LD config. So you can go to linuxgamecast.com slash discussions dash to sign up with, we got, we support open ID, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. So you can just log in with an existing account. Uh, good stuff in there. We also have a YouTube page that is still up. Shock and awe. YouTube.com slash Linux Gamecast has survived the copyright apocalypse and the cock apocalypse. And you can check out all our videos there. We got the weekly train wreck we got players how to's be reels android how to's and whatever the hell we else whatever the hell else we throw up on there hell elks also hell Thanks elks <laughs> we also got the hell elk central itself facebook.com slash linux gamecast run by mexicans secretly With run by germans 89 likes 89 likes wow <laughs> That is some damn stellar Facebook presence on the Facebooks. <laughs> we also got our lovely red-headed green. Oh, it's not Ponytastic anymore. Boo. I'm a yeah. bit saddened. The formerly Ponytastic reddit.com slash r slash Linux underscore gaming. Check that out. Lots of gaming news, information, how-tos, questions, all that good stuff. And the top story is our next topic. Well, we got a little public Indeed. service announcement for you, childrens. Now, like Pedro, some of you have computers that were built in the Stone Age and can't boot the latest and greatest release of SteamOS from Valve. So these guys have put together ye oldy Steam OS E. What's that good, sir? I'll oh, say. <laughs> yeah, the future is here. <laughs> BIOS support. <gasps> No, I mean, this is Steam also. Uh, well, here's the improvements, man. I mean, it requires Ufi. Um, nope, this works with BIOS. Uh, you can boot this from a DVD. But, J-Man, check that out. Isn't that the bee's knees right here with the VM 3D acceleration on VMware and VirtualBox? O-O-T-B-M-G-Z-O-M-G-B-B-Q. Indeed. It ships with actual driver support as opposed to just the yep. NVIDIA drivers, which is certainly a thing. But it's an interesting little project if you have an older computer like... No, I think the P-Man might also say that, yeah. you know, instead of the um, 500 gigajigs, uh, it only requires 40.5 gigajigs, right? Now, if you have a sensible, sensibly sized drive like me, who happens to have two SSDs, one that's 60 gigs and the other one that's 120, you too can place games on your steam os mm, i can't hear you over the sounds of these delicious delicious spindles that i just happened to be again <laughs> oh yeah again again i have 18 terabytes of storage sitting on my fucking desk and i will disposable. rub that in your face but the link to this um you can probably just find it on the googs but that will or be to, in the show notes yeah score gaming it's the top story it's That's brilliant but we need to yep. um give away some things yeah. oh right oh, yeah, yeah we had a contest last week mm -hmm. who would win in a fight between ven myself the mexican and a thigh master no, now say, obviously say the mexican. thigh master right. would just <laughs> wipe us across the room but maddie had a little different idea yeah. Yep. He kind of did his own thing there, and yeah, if you ask me, it worked. To, to <laughs> his credit, it was the only entry here that actually made me laugh. So uh, yep. here's how he put it. Um, we'll have to add some dramatic music, but in the post-apocalyptic wasteland formerly known as Detroit, Detroit 2014. Now here's my picture: the last of the <laughs> Hitler clones. Then we have San Mexican and his gay Mexican. Sex slave slash yes, serial sir. killer. <laughs> then J-Man are hunted down by the fat alien from, I don't even know, Canada. 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 <laughs> then the movie poster with the Thighmaster, Vin Hartman. 
Pedro Shaw, the invasion begins after the end. Time Master Snatcher. Congratulations, Maddie. Yeah, you, you win. won a copy of Rust. Key for Rust. And, and we also said we were going to give the lazy a fuck award, award right? to the crappiest entry. Yep. And that is, without a doubt, Predator 8 bit. Right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Just uh, to give you, you know, you audio listeners an idea, it ends with no one knows what happened at what at that war zone-ish field, but the outcome is indisputable. Only Gaven stood tall at the raped and ruined bodies of his fellow nemesis is an obstacle. Nemesis. Nemesis. <laughs> nemesis. Seeds, is. You fool. So expect those um, wet stinky keys to show up via private message probably tomorrow afternoon or at latest Monday. They will be yours to own and play and love and Oh, what's that then? Do you hear that in the distance? Clippity clop. Sleigh bells ringling. Clippity clop. Is Clippity it Santa clop. Gabe? Is Santa Gabe? No. It's Santa Gabe. He's come no. riding the dead horse of Christmas <laughs> and also Steam <laughs> Lex! Update of the week. week. And it's a real boy. Yay! Um, no, no Destro watch. watch. Really got to dig these guys because they, you know, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's kind of an old site, and this is kind of like your first site. It's like, what's the Linux thingy? And you kind of end up here. Yeah. Still give them a lot of metal because they post our podcast on the front page. Tons of fucking bleed off traffic from that. Yep. Pretty nice, but I mean, this confirms that they are tracking Steam OS based on Debian stable architecture x86 64 desktop. Pedro's favorite, GNOME. Uh, obviously. Category gaming, active, and popularity. Uh, 99 hits per day. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, well, what's what's the entry for, like, Ubuntu or... Billions yeah. of... No. About 2,000-ish Pedro, clicks per day. Uh, what, 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 how, do you, how do you think Funduntu is working out on this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not anymore. About a month after food pulled the plug... They removed this from the entry. It's still there. If you look uh, for until you can still find the page, but it's dead. Mm. But guess what, Pedro? What? Prepare your wallets and your anuses. <laughs> it's the winter sale. Uh huh. Yeah, that that's yeah. basically it. I I was I was kind of hoping Valve would have put out a. Uh, I guess they kind of just released Steamos, but. Come on, man. Where's Where's Portal Two? Because yeah. I really want to yeah, play the Stanley yeah. Parable and also yeah. Portal Two. I was reading about that, and you know, it was like, oh, Winter Cell. And to be perfectly honest, I went directly into this kind of thinking. I was like, all right, Winter Cell. I'm gonna wake up, and it's gonna be Xmas, and Santa Claus is gonna be shooting missiles at me and shit, <laughs> you know, as is tradition. But um, you get up, and I was like, oh, look, a ginormous list of shit I already own. Literally, already <laughs> own every single thing you have, and it's on sale. So I found myself like randomly gifting people games. Like, here you have a game, you have this game. Well, I, I picked up Space Hawk for pretty cheap. P Man? Yeah, uh, I'm looking at XCOM Enemy Unknown because that supposedly is coming for Linux. So, yeah, I might pull the plug on that one. Maybe. Yeah, you know, mm. uh, like I said, J Man, I'm kind of with you on like, I would love to just see. You know, it's kind of sad, but yeah, Portal 2 would have made my mothering day. Yeah, but that's the thing. I'm pretty sure that Valve's holding on to Portal 2 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive until SteamOS yeah, is Yeah, that, that's really going to push SteamOS right there. Portal 2. Yeah. The yeah. Games. <laughs> oh. But OS. This, you know, we have you know some, the, the pinnacle uh, of Linux programming? Gears. No, and no, no. When I saw this, uh, I was thinking about Loki. I was talking <laughs> about the Hulk and it was like, how dare. Oh, you're so desperate that you brought back <laughs> Beast of old. <laughs> <laughs> it like, it, it, you know, just on a query the other day, I, I clicked play, and lo and fuck, mothering behold, gear up, launched for the first time but, in five months. But it doesn't work for everyone, as both me and Jordan found out. I no, decided that, to try my, it my, with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I decided to try gear up with the open source drivers because, let's face it, the open source drivers work better than FGL or X, but we'll get to that later on. And uh, for me, it doesn't work. It errors out with a uh, fatal error in dry config options with an unknown encoding. And to me, that looks deliberate. They didn't even give a shit. So, and I guess Jordan couldn't get it to work on his NVIDIA. Yeah, so complaining about my version of libc or something with that. Though I suspect it might be something to do with SC Linux as well, but I'm not turning that shit off. So, so mm. that's a thing, but most people shouldn't worry about it because it's still in closed alpha. And yeah. <laughs> and will remain there forever. <laughs> dun, dun. Yep. <laughs> Now, Ferry Simulator 2014 is from Microsoft Studios, and it I even know. comes with its own Navi. Ooh. <laughs> and you know what? For a Microsoft port, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty fucking fun. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 you, if you can get past the rampant furry art style and the fucking annoying as shit, hey, listen, hey, listen. And I'll it's like I said in the pre-show, I mean, if there was just a simple mod to replace that thing with Mr. T, problem solved. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually pretty fun side-scrolling combo-based beat-em-up. It is. I I mean, ironically, for Microsoft Studios, um, you know, it... it well, you know, no, you, I, th I think Microsoft Studios just published it. It's kind of laid yeah. back. You can just laid back, play it, don't have to think a whole lot, and it's a button masher. And guess what? Rumble support actually works. As yeah. I wrote the other day. Yeah, He was the one who ported this over, and I posted the other day, and I was like, so, Dust, Legion Tale was the first game to rumble the Exclaim controller. Dear Flying Spaghetti Monster, did I screech? Because I was like, what the hell is this business, man? Yeah, I, I was a bit shocked, too. I wasn't expecting it right off the bat. Yeah, um... It's just like, oh, by the way, this thing can rumble. Did you know that? Ah. <laughs> Ethan wrote back, and he's like, glad to hear the um, haptic is working. So, um, Ethan, um, in, in your own way, you reached out and touched me. Touched me. Yeah, um... Mm. You Cue really, the fanfic. So, now that you know that, mm, <laughs> sleep tight. Yes. <laughs> but Overgrowth is on Steam. Oh. Wait, you mean Duke Nukem Forever? Yeah, Pedro. I oh, actually, oh, no, 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 no. I genuinely was upset with Pedro because he wrote in the show notes, Duke Nukem Forever, now available. And I was thinking, oh. I was like, is there actually porting that yeah, piece I, of I shit? Yeah, I got it, all right. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll buy that just to say I played it. But you know, no. I had the exact same reaction until I clicked the link, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I see what he did there. So, and you I... wonder why we're calling Overgrowth the Duke Nukem Forever of Linux, because it's been in fuck-mothering development for five fuck-mothering years, that's why. But for, for, the, for yeah. those of you who don't know what this is, if you've ever played Lucaru, it came with the first Humble Bundle. Mm -hmm. It's basically a rabbit beat-em-up game. It was actually pretty fun. I, I yeah, actually it was. liked it yeah. quite a bit. Um, but this is the spiritual sequel to it, full of rabbits and decapitation. It is really, really expensive. It is $30 for this thing. You can pick it up yeah. at, at the time currently. It is 17% off until January <laughs> 2nd. Weird and there. here's the thing. I mean, you're looking at the graphics, taking a look at some screenshots right now. Yes, um, it, it, five years ago, the, these, 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 like, some pretty good graphics. But, you know, in 2014, um, no. <laughs> You know, I'm not hating, but maybe, maybe not I, so I'd, much. I'd buy it for maybe fifteen dollars, but not twenty four. Be much? Yeah, I looked at it and I looked at the DRM free version they had a while back, which apparently the link still works, but I can't share it. So, yeah, it's seven gigs the current build, seven ish. It's plays a lot like Lugaru and it's got some shinier graphics granted it's got some physics going for it which is awesome but uh 25 euros 30 bucks and no. well hip it is hop it is motherfucker but since we're <laughs> on the topic of things only Pedro gives a flying fuck about let's talk about Dota 2 so it's this out, puts my you know, give a fucko meter on Z negative. Nation in shock. Yes. 
What it's are Dota 2. It's Valve's big community-driven game. It's actually the most played game on Steam right now. And yeah, it's officially out of beta. And now, these Pino, two I like hidden... how we started talking a little shit about Dota 2, and you got in there all defensive, and you're like, well, it's actually one of the games that, you know, really fun. And I was like, yeah, that fucking Steam thing Valve came up with, they're not making any money off that, are they? <laughs> I, mean, I said a... game. I made sure to specify <laughs> it's Valve's money making game. Okay, uh, okay. All games and are Valve. Even though, even though that uh, Hat Simulator Two is keeping things up and running, Dota is the most played game on Steam right I'm now. I'm only half joking. I mean, I know a lot <laughs> of um, lifeless losers. I mean, people play Dota Two <laughs> religiously. Uh, yeah, I, I could never get into it. You, J man. I I mean I tried, was, but I well I mean I I got into MOBAs with like the League of Legend thing and never really got into it. Played Han because that was on Linux. You were saying something about you were yeah interested in the server either, but, room, uh, right? I mean yeah. it's, I I I mean people said oh you know, the only thing keeping me on Windows is Dota and then they didn't switch <laughs> till the next. So what about that <laughs> server room you were talking about? Oh yeah, the the only thing I really care about in that announcement is I like the picture of the server room they have in this launch article. Looks pretty yeah. neat. Lots of little juniper and, switches and, and whatnot. Apparently, the new people wanting to play Dota have to be queued up to balance the load on the servers. So, yeah. If Valve servers are screeching at the influx of people playing Dota 2, it's kind of relevant. Yeah, just well, it's a free game, so <laughs> what do you do? You buy magical non-hats or enchanted you, you shotguns? You buy characters or... and you can buy gear, I think. Yep. <laughs> Oh but the gear is actually pretty balanced out, so it's not pay to win. And and the other thing is you can you can rack up like you can, you can buy the stuff with the in game currency as well. You just have to play a bunch. Ah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's pay for if you got money to pay and don't have you know yeah yeah lots of lots it's of good free, time. free to play. Yeah. It's the good free to play. Yeah. Okay. But I suppose that brings us up to the, our. Let us start. Old glory life insurance would like a word. <laughs> Not the robots. They're here to steal your pills. And your jobs. Nine ninety nine. Yep. what stinky cash is Pete? Now tell us about this business. Yeah, 2D Array, the developers. Well, actually, they've only developed this one. That's their biggest title right now. And oh, yeah. it's published by Tiny Build, which you may know from games like... I am you from the future. I can't remember the name of that game. Uh, no time to explain. <laughs> no time to explain. Exactly. <laughs> Off the top of his head. So, yeah. Boom. In this game, you play as a robot. A vacuum robot. A little taller than a Roomba. And you have to suck up all the furniture to get health and progress to the level. In the meantime, you have so to dodge Roomba turrets, sentries. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All along and the just way. like a Roomba, it will attempt to eat furniture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I, my favorite Except type of Roomba one is the one succeeds. where you strap a knife to it, and then it becomes the Doomba. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Mine, before it got crushed, I built an Arduino module on it, put lights, taped a steak knife to it, and it screamed exterminate while it was running around my house. No, I was going to say, like, convert it into a Dalek. That sort of... <laughs> that, that's kind of it was, but you, <laughs> the, 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 there came this point where I forgot to mention that to people and forget that some of my friends are rather large, and it got squished like a roach. Exterminate! Exterminate! It was extic. I was like, well, you know, there went that 280. <laughs> All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I, I think that wraps yeah. it up. So, yeah, that, that's Steam a thing, Linux man. Um, 999, what stinky cash is. Uh, and it's a Unity game, so. Steam Cloud partial sure controller support, which means play it with a fucking keyboard and gerbil. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I still don't understand why that's a thing. We'll probably get around throwing some chairs at that business, but it sounds yep. like Jingle Gabe is um, getting Doppler in my fucking ears. Yeah, man. no, he's he's going back up the chimney to go sneak into other people's houses and do stuff to them while they're sleeping. Coming up next, non-Steam related news. And now that our Lord and Savior, Mr. Gabe Newell himself, has left the building, we're left with just good old regular Linux news. And for this first bit, 
I'm not even sure why this is still news, but AMD is still not figured out how to properly release a driver under Linux. Because, as you can see in that page that Ven's showing you there, it's okay. Sounds legit. What, what's Supports... out? Uh, you, is, uh, are you trying to say there's a new Catalyst driver? Like, maybe, maybe called a 3.12 out, uh, maybe? Yeah, 3 the 13.12 FGLRX 13.12 is now out. But uh, it still supports the Radeon HD 5K series, which is surprising because looking back at AMD's history, they tend to drop cards on a yearly basis. So thank goodness they haven't yet. But um, Well, next year, Pedro. Next year. Yeah. So we, if we scroll all the way down to the resolved issues, you can see stuff like ultra slow Dota 2 FPS, a system hang when start X after enable iFinity, system hang when running Unigine Heaven 4.0, yeah, a couple of other things. So here's my experience with this particular driver. DKMS fails to build by default. I managed to get it working with a kludgy hack that I won't go into detail with. It's basically all you have to do is replace the kclacpi.c file with the old one the, from 13.11.9.4 beta. I, I like how he says and, he's not going to share it and then just shares it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go into a full-on tutorial because... It's a kludgy hack, and you're not supposed to do it that way. And yeah, no, it's if you want to do it, that's how you do it. But I'm not. And after you get it installed, you're supposed to get you know better frames per second with Dota, get Unigine running better. Bullshit. Because from what I read on some couple of posts on Reddit and on the Steam forums, it doesn't help with the Dota 2 frames per second at all. In fact, it runs just as bad. Ogre 3D games, which is a gripe I've had with well, FGLRX for the past... Maybe with codes made in the last decade? Hey yeah. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, but uh, okay. Uh, Ogre 3D games are my main gripe with FGLRX at this point, and they still don't work. So, once again... Congratulations, AMD. I'm still not touching your driver with a 10-foot pole. Fuck right off. Meanwhile, in the land of supported hardware, it works fine. <laughs> so, um, Ryan C. Gordon, you might know him as... Hiculus. 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 I'm actively working on... Because this is how he speaks. If you've ever listened to him, <laughs> I'm actively working on one of the games in the Humble Jumbo Bundle. Mac and Linux people should buy the bundle before it ends today. Now, this was from a few days ago, because that bundle is no more. It's like a parrot. Yeah, yeah yes. I was kind of <laughs> hoping that it was going to be Magicka. I, I'm, I'm actually on the P-train with this one. Yeah, me and Ven were more along the lines of Oryx must die, either one of them really, because granted... It's tower defense, and Jordan hates tower defense. But this I one is do. actually stupid fun tower defense. Now, here's something we need to keep in mind about, you know, Iculus dating this, because let's go back in time. In the way back machine. April 5th, Ryan C. Gordon. Red Orchestra 1 from Mac OS, now available on Steam. It might be uh, humble right now. Da -da 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 -da. Perhaps, uh... We should get an RO2 Steam for this week, just in case, winky face, after Steam for Linux asked, what about yeah. RO2? Is it coming to Linux? And he's like, oh, I don't know, smiley face. <laughs> and then a lot of people brought this up. It brought, brought up in our subreddit, Linux underscore gaming. Um, yep. <laughs> fair fucking point, though. Very fair yeah. fucking point. I mean, uh, now they kind of went mental with it, P-Man, I think, maybe. Yeah, I read it on the this you particular thread Reddit. that showed up on Linux underscore gaming, and people were like, "Yeah, just like you promised RO2 a while back." Then Ryan was like, "Reddit reminds me again exactly why I won't announce anything I'm working on for shifts anymore." <laughs> <laughs> now um, we, we all say we, we love Aculus. Mad respect for the man from the show. All that yep. business, but 
you know, take things like that with a grain of chainsaw, mainly because, you know, in some way it does Internet commenters, man. (laughs) You know, he might be working on it. He doesn't have any control on whether or not it gets released, which I think maybe he should think about before saying things like, well, you might want to pick that up (laughs) because I can't guarantee that shit's getting released, but eh? Eh? Yeah. So, you know, I kind of understand, you know, yeah, good idea. Self-correcting. He's a man for that. Uh, J Man, what well, you wanted the ma- why do you want the uh, Magicka? Because uh, it's a fun game. The fuck is it? I've never heard of it. So basically, it's kind of like it's it's a wizardy beat 'em up, except it incorporates this thing where you can you have like all these different base spells, and you can chain them together to make new spells. And yeah. everyone talks like the Swedish chef. And <laughs> bork, bork, you, bork, bork. Yeah, ba- <laughs> every, everyone talks like the Swedish chef. Can't wait it's to review that. Of, it's full of great humor and writing. Hmm? And your mentor is totally not a vampire named Vlad. Totally, He's completely not a, not a vampire. I don't even know why you'd expect him to be one. Progress. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, magic. No, I pl- I played Magicka back when I was still booting. It was, it's a really fun game. I kind of wish they ported to Linux. So that it's thing number neat. eight is out, and apparently they have lost their damn mind reverting to some ancient form of I this know, thing right? we once knew, Pedro. Yeah, so as you may recall from our previous episodes, the Humble hasn't been particularly keen on supporting Linux for the past few bundles, except that now they are. You, you see six games right there, two of which are locked b- behind the uh, payboard and the average wall, but it's only four eighteen bucks, so... Yeah, it's not that high. How's the Pac-Man but you get looking. Oh, look at this. Man. The Pac-Man. Is, uh, yeah. It looks Ooh. like a Pac-Man. As opposed yep. <laughs> to Windows gobbling everything with a few <laughs> Mac and a bunch of Linux. Nope. Yeah. But you do get six games like Little Inferno, Gemini Rule. Ah! Pretty awesome. Ah! Jack Lumber. <laughs> Hero Academy and Anomaly 2. You may remember Anomaly 2 as the game that locked up your machine and you had to drop into a TTY to kill it. It doesn't do that anymore. It actually works now. Uh, so. We just need Good to clarify something with Free Jack in the chat room. Um, Achilles didn't work on this bundle. He worked. He's talking about the previous bundle. Gemini Rue's already in Steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That's not Gemini what... Rue is already in Steam, but it wasn't as... When the bundle first came out, it was the one game that didn't show up on the Steam list because I had that game for about a year now. And it's just been sitting there and it only showed up like two or three days ago. Yeah. Yeah, and Little Inferno, <laughs> the game that you play waiting for something to you, just genuinely rise as a pyro simulator. I'm like, all right, yeah. fair enough, yeah. It's yep. <laughs> burn shit, the game. I'm the fire starter. <laughs> And stuff. it's not just the uh, the humble bundle that supports an all Linux roster. It's also the weekly bundle. Shock because, and awe, but the weekly sale uh, is kind of uh, things that you've owned for games millions of years. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, this it's, is um, uh, you know, So do you got Java Titans installed and... bundle? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, and and if they reach 150k, they'll release the source that's code to all going. the games. Okay, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Jay, man, tell us why this is a thing. So, uh, once again, reinforcing the fact that Canonical made the best possible decision <laughs> by deciding to make their own display server because Wayland, as a display, wait, wait, didn't, didn't they Weston, name it something that Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Bitch, explain to me again how you know a hobbit. Because I don't live in a hole under the ground. It's just slightly below ground. Okay, love you. But again, again, cementing the fact that Canonical made the best possible decision by tossing away Weston as a display server, getting rid of Wayland as a display protocol, and creating Mirror. SDL2 has finally started supporting Wayland with their latest <laughs> version. This is... I need to pull up the actual change log here. Oh, patches. This, is, this is the latest one from December 14th. Tested under Weston Compositor that ships with Ubuntu 3.10. It's actually kind of funny. But uh, basically now, uh, 
six days These ago, guys can, you know, 2013 you can in the year uh, about SDL noodles. Games. That'll work under a Wayland compositor. And, it's you know, you're awesome. going to get all that awesome SDL2 video support. You're going to get that epic, you know, we've seen a just rumble. explosion. Right, rumble, real turn, honest turn, to Turn go. your Xbox controller into a sex toy. Yeah. Z- z- it's brilliant <laughs> like that, controller support and all that. And Mia, uh, yeah, well, let's name it out of a very successful Russian space station that actually... Yeah, that. Mm. <laughs> so, good luck with that shuttle, world. You're rocking it. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? He's a scrapsy motherfucker. Yeah. I'll give him yeah. that. And while we're on the scraps, they made it. They're funded. They Kiwi. got 7K Kiwi dollars over their original goal, including both the Kickstarter funds and some donations that they got from PayPal. And it's awesome. This is one, if not the game that I'm actually hoping for in 2014. Lego Murder Machine Simulator. Mm-hmm. Yep, Lego with machine guns. And... Oh, look at look at look at that. That's that's a gorgeous vehicle. I want to drive that to work. Yep, it flips over and it <laughs> shoots things. I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, that is my dream and car. It's built in Unity, and it's actually a Unity game that doesn't look like ass. And one thing that is the reason I backed it with a few Kiwis is they're going to be adding multiplayer. Yeah. I know. Something that Scraps was severely lacking at the beginning. Yeah, which I mean, pretty much made it just like a built car, did that, drove around, bored now. So this yeah, will add yeah. that extra element of let's go um, give each other big, sloppy, gelatinous hugs. And they're actually like, developing for Linux but they've only tested it on Ubuntu so far. But to be fair, no, that's the uh, 2.8 alpha builder demo does work stupidly well on my calculator well, using yeah, Carrara. You've so. got to figure it out. You know, if it works on Ubuntu, even your average Arch user can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, un- unless it needs an older library, in which case they are just paralyzed with helplessness. Well, they better be able but, to find it in a repo. Um, but, but, but... <laughs> Minecraft. Arts. Minecraft is now broadcasting an open beta unless you're on Linux because fuck you. Fuck you. That's, that's why. why. <laughs> Brilliant. Um no, for, I read for this. the stupidest reasons as well, considering yeah. that there is an open source H two six four implementation yeah, licensed that, that, by uh, Cisco. Uh, that's yep. still sticky about why they can't really distribute that. Oh, do, yeah, yeah that, that's a bit beyond the scope of what we could cover. I will take an entire show as to... But <laughs> the what they say wranglings. is Linux support is currently not planned due to a licensing issue surrounding the encoding software. That encoding software is not software. They're talking about libx264, which is available with FFmpeg, Gstreamer, and all that business. Uh, here, here's a brilliant idea. Don't ship that component, because... <laughs> Stay with me here, and I, I know I'm talking crazy speak right now. Good fuck mothering luck finding a current Linux distribution that doesn't ship with either GStreamer or FFmpeg. I mean, just just give that a shot. I actually want to get your feedback on that and see if you can. Anna Montana, Linux. No, GStreamer. GStreamer, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, what, wait, what about Arch? Uh, I'm sure it's a Pac-Man type thing. But seriously, there is yeah. no technical limitations, and you're watching us live right now. Well, you should be. We're streaming to Twitch from Linux. It's not a piece of cake to do it right, but there's no technical limitations. Trust me, I... Especially with security updates to Live AV. Seriously, that threw a yeah. wrench in our business last week. But if a high-functioning alcoholic, I know a guy, who can do this in his spare time and make everything work, there's no excuse for you. Noping out of this, and P.S., fuck Minecraft, I hate the game, I have no use for it, but this just genuinely pisses me off when I see artificial limitations. What are your thoughts? Yeah. And it's, it's a bullshit excuse. It, there's really... Why would they need to ship that particular... Kodak? Because reasons, Pedro. Because reasons. <sighs> It's not Windows. That's the thing. Linux is not Windows. Most <laughs> no, of no, the Linux really, I thought, I thought Linux was Windows. already included with the operating system. Like Ven said, every distro right now has at least GStreamer. 
which includes libx264. Ah, idiots. Now, here's something I, I scratched my brain about on this topic. I mean, because you know this is going to be an option to do with most games under Twitch on the PS4. Um, That runs BSD, gentlemen. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but then again, they the BSD running PS4 also has AMD hardware that seems to be working exceptionally well, so J -Man, some mysteries J -Man, will J -Man. never be solved. Let's just save all that rage for the mage. Mage rage! So, this is a game that, because my two compatriots do not care for 64-bit operating systems, <laughs> I was the sole guy who actually was able to play it. Uh, this is from... Chat room member Gustavo Brazil. from Brazil. Gustavo's and cowards the internet. Again. He does. He gives us crap week <laughs> after week the after week. Games I gotta, I gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> so this is, this is Mage Rage. It's off IndieDB.com. The link's in the show notes. Oh, look post. at this comment. The lone one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, 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 guy, that guy looks familiar. I wonder who he is. Nine, nine, no, nine. but <laughs> this, is, this is Mage Rage. It's a first-person puzzle platformer set in a wizard frat house where there are pizza boxes everywhere and you have to make potions and jump through stuff. And I'll, I didn't play it for all that long. Bit of a drop in the game. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, I need to brew potions. All right. I'm bored now. Hmm. Uh, but <laughs> I you know what? It. Uh, it, it, is, it does have quite a bit of voice acting, which is impressive for an indie DB game. I will give it that. Um, the voice acting is kind of shit, and the sound files for the voice actors are also kind of shit. Uh, but how many wet stinkies is that going to run us? That is free, actually. Oh, right. Yes. You can you can just download this off IndieDB and run it. Uh, they did zip it, but it does work out of the box. Yeah, so they, they zipped permission that properly. Nice. Yeah. They that zipped it properly. Very, very Kudos nice. on them for that. Do you have any thoughts? They did forget one thing. They forgot that? one thing, and that's the reason that I left that lone comment there, is because well, I don't it's have a 64-bit 64 64 operating only. system because I live in the past. I have a 2009 laptop, which happens to run a lot better with a 32-bit OS using the PAE kernel. So yeah, I'm using 32-bit, and you guys didn't leave anything on the website. To let people know that that thing is 64 bit only. Fuck you, people. Well, you know, I mean, it is fair because <laughs> currently, right now, I mean, you should specify, you know, yeah. if it's 32 bit, 64 bit, like you shouldn't be able to get away with the saying it's available for PC and Mac because I don't know what the hell a PC is <laughs> because last time I checked, Macs ran Intel hardware. Yeah. No, they're <laughs> still running PowerPC. Oh, yeah. technically G it's per right? PC, so yeah, yeah it's still yeah. a PC. Uh -huh. <laughs> Personal computer, but you know what? Microsoft has sort of monopolized that term to mean Windows running personal computer. But well, that's an issue for another day. To close out the news section, them, a though. game that only Pedro could give a fuck about. Yeah, probably was the only one who actually played it. In I'm both Android sure and will. Linux. Ever. <laughs> and who actually gave a shit enough to play. Oh, look, you can buy MMO. coins. This is my type of game. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is a 2D hippie pixel graphics MMO. It's actually similar to Seiken, that one that got taken down with a cease and desist order a while back. Uh, and it's sort of like Seiken, but it has more microtransactions. And on Android? Even without the microtransaction, it was actually pretty fun. But on uh, on a PC, you have so many, but so many better MMOs to play. Even in 2D, come on. Yeah. I'm... And that wraps up our regular news section. Pretty fucking long. Coming... Yeah, no, it's pretty sexy. Coming up next. Splat. And we're back reviewing ah! for the awesome from Deshoban Games. It's a game studio engine game. It'll run you about 
Canadian tire currency, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would it would be nine. Do you not know how that works? Sorry, it is nine ninety nine American, nine ninety nine euros for because we hate Europeans and. <laughs> Canadian tire money is used on parity with regular money at Canadian tires. So it would be 999 Canadian tire dollars, you freaking scrub. But but anyways, this is a game where you fall down a bunch. It's like that commercial. I've fallen and I can't get up. But this time you have some gravity defying parachute that doesn't kill you from whiplash. But the goal of this game is to make it to the bottom, not splat, duck and weave, and stay near buildings and kiss things, hug them, off. and spray things. Uh, yeah, kiss, yep. hug, and flip people off. Uh, so I guess we have our crazy ass lawn chair scale of Mawatsit. So let's show the chair explanation. One chair means that it's shit, two chairs means that it's meh. Three chairs means that it's good, and four chairs means that... Oh, <laughs> excuse me for a second. Four chairs means that it's really, really good. Um, so, we also have our categories O-Doom. Makes with the working. Does it work? Does it work well? Does it run under Linux? Because, again, we are all under Linux. End-to-end -end Linux. Linux out the ears. Yo, dog, I heard you like Linux. So we're going to go to the shiny and sounds category, which is basically critiquing the visuals and the audio and all that good stuff. We got a control section, which is, which is self-explanatory. And finally, our subjective category, whether we liked it or not, whether we had fun. So Ven did <laughs> make with the working. Makes with the working. Pretty simple game, and as far as when it comes to make with the work, I know people had some issues with it. You read in the forums. Ah, Suicide Simulator 2013 on our vanilla Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, 770 powered, latest beta drivers, 32 bit. It almost got four fuck mothering chairs, but seems to be a common problem throughout distribution land, no matter what you're running. Uh, your wireless gerbil input, or just your regular wired gerbil input, has a tendency to what's a flip the hell out. That's the word I'm looking for, for no apparent reason other than to tell you that, good luck, figure out how to close the game, screw you. So, I can't give it a perfect four with that, but the game itself is still playable. Once you get inside of that and know how to dodge some of those dodgy uh, cursor issues, I'm going to not give it the four. I'm going to give it a three. Even though he's showing four. But I just showed it three. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Shh. But yes, makes with the working. It launched fine, but there is a little annoying bug that I was experiencing on Fedora 20 with in GTX 670 super clocked with four gigabytes of VRAM running the latest NVIDIA 331 point some odd some odd beta drivers there's a big fat cursor in the screen and it's ugly and it's distracting and because of that i knock at a chair because it's not working flawlessly so it gets three chairs which is still pretty good for mix with the working pedro what yeah, about you on my calculator with the uh mobility radian 5650 hd with one gigabyte gddr3 ram <laughs> And an Intel i3 running Corora 32-bit. Still Corora 19. My first we'll update eventually. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it uh, didn't run when I first tried it. So then I killed Steam, restarted Steam, and lo and behold, it works. Three chairs. Well, how about that? Not very often that a Steam game makes with the three chairs for makes with the working, but it's yeah. still not a bad score normally. This is what any game's saving grace in our review gauntlet. So, Shiny and Sounds. Ah, excuse me. Then. Shiny and Sounds, you look at it. You know, uh, some of the advanced levels look hella neat. Uh, I would like to see a bit more motion blur or something like that. Sound is for what it is, but since we're mixing these two categories together, it loses a four-chair score because it blew my ear pussies apart during the initial launch. I was not prepared for that assault. 
they're no longer virgins. So I'm going to give it what it deserves. Three cheers. Now, so the graphics are decent. They're not fantastic, but they get the job done. And they're good at sort of showing you descend to the floor where you go splat. But, 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 but. And that would, that would be enough on its own to give it three chairs, like Ben said. But dear God, that music is just annoying. After about two minutes of it, <laughs> I just took the headphones off and started blasting Slayer because that's what I do. So because of a really, really, really crappy soundtrack combined with good-ish visuals, I'll give this a two chairs on Shiny and Sounds. Yeah, you guys pretty much already yeah. touched on all the subjects i'll just reiterate the fact that holy mother of loud narrated pre-game ads hey pedro yeah. would you like to give a score yeah would you yeah. like this baby bitch but you need to say it in a really awkward hip way loud noises the game Why are we shouting <laughs> All so right, for so shiny that's, that's, and sounds, I think. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the two chair for two the chair? shiny and sounds section. Now, Ben, did you feel like you were in control in this free fall? Well, no matter what I did to adjust the gerbil, it always seemed a bit twitchy with the looking around. It was never completely smooth. With that, um, keyboards. A bit muddy. I mean, they work for what they are. But you mix that slightly muddiness with the super twitchiness. Yeah. It wasn't a good feeling. Uh, maybe with some VR support, which I think would be absolute rubbish. And everyone's like, I want to play Oculus this. Rift. Oculus and all this is going to be John Carbax going to explode out of my brain organ and give me a job with his rocket company or something. I don't think that's going to be the case with this game. What is the case with this game is the chairs i'm giving it for the controls because that's what they are now j man <laughs> splat <laughs> um this game has do a backflip do a do a flip kirby's don't jump some of us need your organs <laughs> your delicious delicious organs uh no this game has all right controls i would not call them stellar one bit as ven said i didn't run into the mouse jerkiness problem the muddy keyboard controls i kind of get but you know you know you know it'd be nice if i could if i could use my controller with this because mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the controller support on this is kind of bleh. so with that i will give it two chairs for mediocre controls not good controls not great controls and not horrible controls by any stretch of the imagination but mediocre. Pedro. Well, I guess it's up to me to once again throw the wrench in this particular suicide simulator. And for what they are, the controls work. I couldn't really, uh, I didn't suffer at any of the mouse jerkiness that Ven did. And technically, you're trying to control a guy that's falling. So you the keyboard input is merely a hint at where you want him to go. So, yeah. You mean it's a suggestion? The, yeah, it's a, a suggestion. So it's the only thing really giving the game any sort of challenge. And unless you're one of those people that care about the leaderboards, you're not going to be too worried about it. So for me, no gripes, four chairs. <laughs> Well, ain't that something. That makes it two chairs for the control section. And finally, the fantastic freakiness that is free falling from fuck knows where. The fun section. Fun. Ben, fun. Did you have fun? Fun, fun. Yes. Actually, I did enjoy this. I, I gave it a full solid six. Well, not at one time, but... Over things with the fun, didn't really enjoy having to spend teeth on unlocking everything, but I found it genuinely challenging, mainly because of the mismatch between the muddy um, keyboard support mixed with the, you know, spasmatic 
durable support and, you know, hugs, kisses, tags, flipping people off. As I call that, you know, a drive to the market. I, I couldn't give it four chairs because the premise behind this game is severely cocked up and totally mental. Base jumping has now been banned. So we built shit on the fucking moon all the way to Earth. Because, and we put shit in the way. Because, um, because. the shit we put there doesn't need to be there. So, so you're just littering in space. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much. But we did it in a nice straight line and put, like, point shit in it. Because, <laughs> um, again, with the, uh, in all, fact, all, all, you know, you, you would think all the money they spent on setting up the infrastructure for this game, they could have spent it on building better moon colonies. Or a better, like, background <laughs> story other than it's banned and we just started building yep. all the shit. Anyway, at the end of the day, I enjoyed it uh, for the price. Yeah. All right, fine. Kind of digging it. Gonna give it three cheers. J Man, you had some thoughts though. I did. You know what? It's not a terrible game. I like the the, the challenges are challenging enough because especially when it comes to landing, because you'll find that you need to land in a very specific way to avoid you know falling to your death. Suiciding. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, that 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 took me a couple tries to get used to the first time around. It's like. Well, no, I'll just parachute like a regular human would. Oh, wait, no. You have to parachute just as you're above No, I'm just ground. like jumping off, punching a pillow. It's like, I hate you, Mom! And just I letting my you, guy Mom! hit. No, you, you, like, <laughs> contrary to what you would, how, how you think parachutes work, in defiance with the laws of physics, you can just kind of open your parachute when you're about half an inch above the ground and you'll be fine. You're using moon air, though. It, it's different. <laughs> moon air. Yeah. Right. See? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know what? The the challenges were challenging. I it kept my attention for as long as it did, which was oh yeah, about, and moon gravity. With, I forgot about that. Sorry. Go moon ahead. gravity, <laughs> yes, and space Australia, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the game I, I I played about two hours of this game. Uh, I didn't mind the whole teeth unlocking thing. Kind of forces you to progress in a semi linear path matter, which allows you to refine skills as you get to the harder and harder levels you've unlocked a meditation but, level a meditation and the the oh, fucking hints uh, i don't know this this game is not my dice i respect what it's trying to do it does what it's trying to do well enough but not my deal two chairs yeah I'm still the bummer drummer in this band of racist bassists and for me the game wasn't fun Maybe if I had an Oculus, it'd get a better score. You'd be uh, sick. Which, no, if, but if, I, if you had an Oculus, fun to watch. This entire, the walls would not be white, <clears throat> they'd be green. From your volume. <laughs> if I had an Oculus, it may have gotten a better score, because it at least it would have elicited some sort of reaction from me. It's just another... Come on, imagine, mm -hmm. imagine doing a tin strip. <laughs> <laughs> no, and... Again, there's only so much you can play of a suicide simulator until you yourself start contemplating it. So for me, it gets one chair. Sorry. Do a flip! Well, that's two chairs <laughs> on the fun category and tallying all that nonsense up. This turns it turns out that ah! for the uh, failed at doing the Wilhelm scream. Ah, for the awesome <laughs> is a two chair game. So. Final thoughts, Ven? Well, you know, two chairs, that basically means um, it's not bad. It, it's not great. This is like one of those... It, 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 it might be your thing. It might not be your thing. Pick it could be your cup of tea, but not. I mean... No, well, it, it's, it's on a humble sale now, isn't it? Well, yeah. You can pay what you want for it. Pay what you want. And definitely yep. pick it up with that. I mean, if you're looking for a reason to buy that humble bundle use this because you're definitely going to get some fun out of it. I'm thinking Oculus Rift, you know, maybe 10 hits of blotter and a strobe light <laughs> piped in <laughs> yeah, with some techno, not not dubstep, techno, old school, because in my day, things went oons, not wub, and you might get some, like, barfy enjoyment out of it. And it is fun for a moment. I just, this is, I, I don't see... Like, jumping off a building for more than, like, an hour at a time. 
kind of puts you in a different state of mind. And yeah, I can't wait for the first person to get blamed by nine year old going, I'm going to dodge all these thuds. Go ahead. <laughs> that, that, that reminds me of a story. When I was working at a gas station, the Red Bull guy came in and it was about the time where they stopped using the uh, Red Bull or they started having the disclaimers at the end of the Red Bull gives you wing commercials. So I had to ask the guy. Has anyone actually tried drinking a Red Bull and jumping off a building? Is that why you had the, added the disclaimer? As Jordan and... walked upstairs. <laughs> well, yeah, what, I'd jump off a freaking two-story building, I'd have a broken ankle. It's going to make me really sore, by the way. <laughs> Woo! I, can fly! I also did a lot of PCP, so that might have influenced my decision-making. <laughs> uh, but, uh, ah, for the awesome is, all right. I'd I'd give it a look if it's on sale or if you pick it up in a humble bundle. Uh, or Pedro, if yeah, you the, the one who's most likely of us to commit suicide. Yeah, uh, or if you happen to have an Oculus Rift, uh, give this game a go. If you have an Oculus because... Rift, you can download the beta for free. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have an Oculus, definitely get it and post your results to YouTube, including a face cam, because strobe lights honestly, and. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Post it to YouTube because I want to see that. But all again, right, so only that if you wraps up our review of ah! for the awesome. <laughs> Coming up next, your hate mail live on air. Yay! What? Ah! Hail Santa! Ho, no. ho, ho, Thundercats. Damn it, Pedro. We're just trying to give you one chance this entire show to make a witty quip while still being on camera, so you better use it. No! And we're back. After that thing, suicide simulator sort of stuff. <laughs> with your hate mail. And once again... Just a friendly reminder, if you'd like to get into contact with us, please proceed to linuxgamecast.com, push the almighty contact button right there on the nav bar. You just fill out your name, fill out your email, give us a subject, give us your message, prove you're smarter than a bot, and push send. But, Unless... but, but Pedro, what, what if I want you to promote a game I'm possibly thinking about maybe someday giving it to a volunteer like a year and a half later and still not fucking releasing it or ever mentioning that even though you might have subscribed to it and give us money for a Kickstarter, uh, um, that thing? Yes. Well, my Skull dear, Girls! Uh, Skull Girls! Oh, Skull Girls. Oh, yeah. what, was, what was the other one, Ben? <laughs> Oh, no, Car no, let's not even get into Carmageddon. Carmageddon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carmageddon, that's an entirely different subject. But no, if you're trying to promote your Indiegogo, Kickstarter, Steam Greenlight, whatever campaign, have a working Linux prototype and send it to us on your message. Because if it's not in there and we can't play your game, we're not going to talk about it. Easy as pie. Where's so... Talking about uh, actual hate mail, apparently we uh, we struck a nerve. We got a yeah. Starbound review. You mind if I take yeah, this one, j -Man? John Dixon. He says, <laughs> Your worst review yet, to be honest, you do nothing but make Linux users look like offensive idiots. Penis! <laughs> Penis! <laughs> hey, hey, Ben, do you want to join the Pen, what, the Pen 15 Club? Oh, the Pen 15 Clubs. YOLO, bro. Yes. YOLO. Swag money. Swag. <laughs> you can never uh, be four pop colors. Cool. Our, our worst review yet. Have you not seen Secret of the Magic Crystals? Well, all right. Here's what I'm thinking. All right. Let's just, let's just break this down, gentlemen. I, right, along right, with right. John Dixon, without uh, your worst review yet. Okay. A. And that tells me you've watched more than one. So, got you on that one. And you seem to have a problem with a couple of blokes uh, just review games with, oh, um... Lawn chairs. Uh, folding chairs, actually. Yeah. Not really Fold, lawn Folding chairs. lawn chairs. Uh, bit of a lawn chair. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, just, just putting those two facts together, I was like, interesting place to draw the line there. Because we already <laughs> win because we review games with lawn chairs. We're ahead of you so far um 
yours review yet. Uh, well, again, thanks for watching. But uh, Magic Kingdom, your crystals, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe we pissed on your favorite game. And I, w when you posted this, uh, I, I had no idea. So, yeah. You know, no, I, I do have to say, there is an advantage to it. YouTube forcing you to comment with Google Plus because you have to use your real name now. Posting under posting inflammatory yep. YouTube comments <laughs> under your real name. I too like to live dangerously. Well, I, uh, I was like, man, did we just seriously, genuinely piss in your Cheerios? So I, I scooted over to your G Plus profile, <laughs> and we get this review, Mister Dick. Always great video and great choices. I'm absolutely hooked on Starbound. I really hope there's no more character wipes, but it's understandable. Okay, a game that actually wipes your fucking characters. Yeah. But you're cool with that. They've already yeah. done that twice. All right, so I, I guess on behalf of LGC, you know, I'm not really the front man. We're kind of like a weird uh, triopoly cocaine vulture on here. But I apologize <sighs> for walking up to you and slapping Starbound's cock out of your mouth with a bit of fucking reality because you're apologizing for a game that wipes your characters. Uh, ah, p man. And, uh, you know, from where I'm sitting, uh, the only ones that would look like offensive idiots by doing that review would be us. The fact no, that no, no, you're no, including... It's, it's, all, it's all Linux users. Well, yeah, really the, just the fact users. that you're including yourself and everyone else is because you're Butter? subconscious, maybe, probably agrees with some of what we said. Well, issue number two. You didn't come back and point out anything factual that we missed. Yeah. In, in and addition, there were fairly positive aspects of that review. It got a mediocre score. That was that it was did. it. And I fully admitted to playing the game for eight hours straight in one sitting and actually liking it. I, I played just a gave game it that, that I loathed for I two fucking hours. J man, you I I I I You called it for what it is. It was that other game. Terraria. Terraria. It's what Terraria. Terraria. Yeah. I, I, I got, I got and, over with it pretty quickly. It's not necessarily because I think it's a bad game. It's just I, it, it didn't keep me entertained. So at, at the end of the day, you get ready to take a drink. We're not the ones making anybody look like um, idiots. You're the one making Linux users look like a whiny bitch. And I'm... Yeah. And that entire comment, John, you're projecting so hard, you could aim yourself at a wall and run a PowerPoint presentation. What the fuck does that even mean, man? I, d I just saw you wrote that. And <laughs> that is, mm, mm. God damn, wow. That is that is a new low for <laughs> Linux games. Uh, either way, at the end of the day, but, you, but you're you know a Slimmy Dimmy. Slimmy Dimmy. Slimmy Dimmy. Slimmy Dimmy. So, yeah, there's that. Look it up. It, it's on Urban but, Dictionary. But uh, Swapnil Bartia. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure I butchered your name, so in the event that I did, go fuck yourself. Um, these folks should do something about mics. They take over the whole... That's kind of the point. No, 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 you gotta understand. Uh, the reason we do this is for um, not audio reasons. Uh, what, uh, shit, I can't what, come up with anything. You, you come up with... No, you come up with something. You're, you're quicker on the draw than me. <laughs> well, what, what, using high quality microphones and, you know, having a pop Well, you're filter. supposed to use them. Yeah. No, no, you can. No, come... I, I mean, like, if, if I do this, you can hear every single P I pop. Well, what do you mean? I mean, these things sound perfectly fine if we just do it like this. I, I, I know, right? It's just, it's not like we're, we know what we're doing with recording stuff. But no, no, apparently he understands no the ins wow. and outs of um, podcasting. And, you know, you, you can say what you want about Linux Gamecast. We are the best fucking sounding Linux anything recorded solely on Linux. I'll take the Pepsi challenge with any other podcast on that. And we're doing it in video and we're streaming it live. Boom. Goes the Jordamite. What do you got to say about that, Pedro, with your little mic? Little dinky. Pinky. Yeah. That's it, Mike. Yeah. If I could afford one of those face, you know, camera hogging microphones, I would. Google. Also, also it, helps with eliminating audio sync issues as well. <laughs> that too. <laughs> it, it, that you don't too. have to worry about the lip flaps lining up when you can't see people's mouths. 
Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, P-Man, I heard somebody um, is going to make us an offer. I think we're going to have to make a counter offer. But yeah. I want you to it's be gentle. I want you offer. to be gentle because this is a friend of the show, long friend of the show. Yeah, and a friend of mine. Is. And uh, I want him to realize that I know he's a friend of the show and I respect everything he's done so far. And I tell you the truth, back in the day, I really liked, you know, ROTG. But uh, this is about the offer we made uh, last week regarding the Attack of the Cats Ethernet. Revenge of the Cats. Uh, Revenge of the Cats yeah. and it's ROTC, Revenge man. Revenge of the Cats. You just can't get this game's name right. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, the creator, MG, wanted 1500 bucks on uh, Kickstarter to release the game's source code. And we offered mm. to post his game to... I'm just going to summarize this. He GitHub. writes back, he writes, Hi, Vin. I just watched the next Gamecast Weekly episode, Giggity. And was kind of surprised to see RTC Ethernet there. If it was simply possible for me to release the source, I would have done it long ago when Torque 3D got MIT'd. I decided to wait. Now the engine has had some time to improve and Linux supports on its way. 1500 wet stinky might seem like a ridiculous sum, but keep in mind that apart from the work of recreating the game using the Torque 3 MIT, which is quite a bit, it also has to be enough to support basically the entire future development of the game. Now, plus I figured out, if I can't find 300 people willing to spin 5 the game, it'd be a good sign that I should bury the game and do something else. Uh, anyway, I still enjoy LGC and will continue to watch Dying of Fire. Bye, smiley face. Yeah, the only thing about this is, again, not Release dissing the on the source? guy, but it's the irony in it. How so, about release the source? Yeah, you're. Uh, uh, that, well, that will kind of fix money? the issue because if people want to play the game, they'll just fix it. Yeah. Yeah. But again, you're asking for money to release a game in. Well, so did the Torque 3D license. guys, and everybody looked at that <laughs> and said, um, release, release the source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, you know, that's kind of the standpoint with it. it was like, yeah, there might be one or two people who pick it up, but, you know, if you truly want to give it out, give it out. There's, there's nothing at all stopping you really? from doing that. I mean, yeah, it might not be in a usable state, but put it out there. People will take care of it if they look, look, want look, to. Look what happened with Jedi, Net, Jedi Academy. To. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the best example. <laughs> Within a month. <laughs> Yeah. 30 days. <laughs> Even yeah. flibbity jibbity blue got on that because I was talking to him on Skype one night and I was like, dude, get the fuck on that project. And no, so, I, I was there. That was an interesting conversation yeah. we were having. So, yeah, man. Uh, I mean, rock on. I mean, your Kickstarter is, is going to have the same fate as the whole Talk 3D thing because, yeah. Uh, yep. If your goal is you're going to release the source anyway, but if your goal is if I don't get kickstarted, I'm not releasing the source. You just don't put bother. The largest Linux gaming podcast. I'm not saying it's huge, but w w this is what you got. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of people nail coffin right there because nobody's. <laughs> you just said, oh well, yeah. If you're going to kill it, just fucking kill it, man. Yep. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Jay Man? Yeah. I know, I, I, I agree. I mean you've basically summed up everything. If no if no one wants to put money towards the game, release the code. If no one wants to put effort to port the game, it'll just die. That that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I know it's difficult letting go of your baby, but if that's what's best for it, that's what's best for it, but gotta you know, gotta gotta to... abort that fetus. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Comrades, comrades. We have contact from Russia. Dr. Drums. From Dr. Jobs. From Drona Murusha, Russia. Vin, comrade. Thank you for the show. From the Russian fan. Tell two other winkers. It'll blow them next time. Ew. Yeah, I, I don't want your sloppy seconds. Well, uh, hey, comrade. 
Vin may have girlfriend, but no, 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 I, I no, I, I I understand. In in Russia, everything gets shot. It's communist way, but yes, I do not want this man sloppy seconds. I know what he puts his dick in. Is maybe he can soak <laughs> he, um, he's, two he's, dicks he's, he's at no one good. time, comrade? Is no it's possible maybe two dicks one time? He suck, he suck, he suck Mexican. Maybe that one. I do, I don't but, care what happens. But Mexican. comrade, I don't want it. I really don't want it. But too I bad. really don't. I, I I'll throw you in gulag, and then you get it anyways. But no, <laughs> you have. If you are going to throw, must bribes, give the dojoms very much good, good feels um back in direction because he sent much big pack of jagged alliance. Jagged alliance for testing. His works very well. Those four. On test boxing. So, what to yes, say? Yes, I, I looked at screenshots and saw video for Yagged Alliance. Uh, m- my question is, uh, what does that have that uh, running with rifles does not? Besides turn-based uh, yawn sauce. So, what was that? That was like German, Russian, Polish? Has much higher price, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough still not going to get it but nuclear vessels <laughs> <laughs> oh man this has gone on long enough yeah it has <laughs> all right time to cue the tetris music <laughs> click all right so check us out at linuxgamecast.com slash podcast Woo-hoo. we got all sorts of links for you to click transfer you over there to the via the hypertext transfer protocol to our rss feeds for sd video hd video and sd audio we got amazon, amazon affiliate links to give us some of that microtransacting goodness have the amazon man sorry the ups man come to your house fuck your wife it's all good we got one time and, amazon drone video will take the video. and ten dollar a month donations they all get you something it may be crap and if you have no wet sinky some. cash just Tell yeah, a cat, tell a friend, spread, tell a hooker. Spread the word. Spread yeah. the word like a yeah. bad case of herpes. Shout it at the you top of your You can also go lungs. to YouTube. Doc, or no, we got Chat Realm statically linked. Got to talk about that, don't we? Forums, you can sign up with your Google account, your Facebook account. Right. Any kind of account you want. Right. Yeah, it's Chat Realm statically linked. Mention LD config. You're banned, but it's good stuff. YouTube.com slash something cast has this weekly train wreck. It has, ooh, Xenosexual. Very, very mm. sexy. We got YouTube videos for <laughs> oh, B-Reels, Cartoons, Players. We might record one tonight. Probably not, because that's not ne- that never really materializes. Then we get some but we also have the Face Butts page with the Face Butts people for the Face Butts things. That's the thing. And so we got finally, people think, people think you're funny on Facebook, Jordan. That's the thing. That's brilliant. Um, so we also have <laughs> Linux <laughs> underscore gaming. What? That's just <laughs> falls to the wall. How feasible <laughs> is gaming on Linux, comma, I need some karma, question mark. Yeah, well, go to reddit.com slash r slash Linux yeah. underscore gaming to see the Kiwi and, you know, see if you can get some karma for your Linux gaming news. <laughs> we pull stuff from there for this show regularly. So post something. It might end up here. We might give you some nods but we might just laugh at you just the same so and at the end of the day i am yeah i steal your line again i am jordan (laughs) spung you can find me at the burning pool but plus jordan spung on twitter and google plus respectively i am pither matos you can find me at unaccounted for on twitter or plus pither matos on google plus i am vin stone the guy who edits this podcast so (laughs) <laughs> what you just watched right there, it's not going to be in the finished product because I'm going to fuck with him. But you can find me <laughs> at Vinstone on the Twitterverse plus Vinstone on the Googs. Come on. That's where you should be, G+. Pluses. Following that business, Linux Gamecast on Steam. Easy to find. Also, J-Man is at the Burning Fool on Steam and P-Man is on a can't... 
I don't know. He's got some upside it's down T bullshit in his name. <laughs> it's, it's, it's high elven or something. It's, yeah, it, <laughs> high. Steve doesn't let me have the word account in yeah, my name. That, uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> So, um, gentlemen, at the end of the day, I just want to send some holiday jeer to everyone. Uh, maybe what, what, you what, want what to do the same. Beer? We'll have the, uh, well, you know, I'm still enjoying a nice uh, pint of me, Russian Imperial <laughs> Stout. But, um, not to be all grinchy about it, but to spread the, uh, we have our own personal message. Mine is ho, 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 die in a fire. I hate you all, and I want you all to get cancer, aneurysms, AIDS, and genital warts. Mega bite me. How the hell, ladies and gentlemen? It's been Linux Gamecast Weekly. Episode 70.